Okay, A28 is fine, so we're gonna go the other way around. Hey, he's just gonna pop up in front of me, isn't he? But this area is not nice and misty. Oh, come on, there's no desk you hide behind you. Weak. Cool, thank you. Open up. Oh my word, why am I here? Where am I? So I have to go to A29. There's another disky disk somewhere here. This one. Koi. Okay, uh, back. Thank you. Wait, there's another room here? You're joking, right? Door access. Air purification. Alarm systems. out of the undead. Why does this exist? And it just says press that. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> nope. That's not suspicious at all. Nothing happened. Hey! Kid Zero, how are you doing, dear sir? Yes, that was close. I nearly... <laughs> Sorry for being so focused mode, dude. It's just... Oh, man, this game. I'm gonna wait till he leaves this room. Otherwise, I'm just gonna... Dude, that sound while waiting in a cupboard is horrible. Oh no. <laughs> that was like creep ribbly. Oh man. I I need flares. Okay, he's to the right. He's in there. Good to know. Oh, it's a dead end. Don't be a knob. Dude, you're a knob. Such a knob. How am I going to get past this thing now? Fine. Fine. Rick, I'm glad you like him. You throw a flare, you don't drop it at your foot. Enjoy your stay. Hey, Kit Ten Zero. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, dude. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this weird and insane playthroughs. <laughs> and that it can be a place to chill, dude, and have a lot of laughs. 
Oh my word. So much for chilling in this game, I guess, eh? Okay, I'm going down here again. If he jumps in here, though, I'm dead. Okay, I'm gonna wait till that red eerie glow is gone, then I'll go through. Let me see if I can make a noisemaker in the mean. Damn. Oh, so it keeps him occupied for a very long time. You disgust me. He's still here. <laughs> I need to get past this dude. Okay. That wasn't suspicious at all. Stares at me, slack jawed. Nothing's gonna happen. He literally just stares at it the whole time. Oh my word, really? Okay. Don't come right. Don't come right. Don't come right. Going left. That's good news. Now don't turn around. Okay, behind me, I'm okay with it. So we need to get past him. I see you. Haha, <laughs> not today, Rick. Not today, dear sir. Uh, earlier would have been bad. A27 we were at. It's fine. It's strange. It's only temporary. Huh. This is the one, I suspect. The one at the end. Nope. Nope. Hide! 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 And wait. Oh, that was close. So it seems every time you jump in a cupboard, he will come to Veska in investigate English yes that word let's see we can open this door maybe it might make it easier for later he's not here though I don't hear any noises I need to. Kuman says he knows how to get medical dispensary, but he needs your help. Okay, great. So nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. So there's nothing in that room, at all. The one that had buttons didn't do anything for me at the end of the day. But this hidey hole is useless. Okay, where does the vent take me though? I have to follow the vent. Oh, great. Just around. We know about that. We can go into 28. We've been to all of them, though. Except for those two. This is becoming very, 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 very weird. The one that needed all the buttons pressed, I didn't get anything from it. Well, anyway, let's go on. Let's see if we can find what we need to find. I think it was 29. Mr. Motley. Key card! Oh my word, really? Did you press the button against the window? I did. A couple of times, actually. 
Let me revive this ASAP. Okay, cool. Air purification, alarm, and then tab. Air purification, alarm. Oh, that's fine. Cool, get back. Oh, there's some stuff in that one too. So now, we need to get back. And this is the dodgy bit. Nothing's going to distract an alien from seeing me. Yeah. Oh. Apparently, no. We didn't need any of that. Prepare the long rubber glove. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I wonder where my glove will go. Okay, so as the music <laughs> as the music tenses up, let me see if I can lure him in here. I think we can. The alarm wasn't on, so you should hear that. Come inside. Let's see. Mm-hmm. You'll investigate this room, then you'll walk out. Then will be our safe way to go. You can just run back, save, importantly. When we've saved, we'll be fine. I hope. How? <laughs> RMB. Seriously? The tactic would have worked, but it's okay. I can get back through that door. <laughs> then that happens. <laughs> I laugh. Oh, I laugh. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, okay. Let's see if we have enough time to do this. Cool. And we can save now. Oh, we can save. We need to save. Immediately. Don't you dare jump up behind me and kill me as I'm about to save. Yay. A nice thing is aliens reset whenever there's a save file. Now I just need to get out of here again. Okay, all the way back. I've officially figured out what this game is. It's a massive fetch quest. Not complaining. Don't get me wrong. Enjoy your stay. Thanks for following, Nightwolf. Really appreciate it, dude. Hopefully this is a place you can chill and relax and just have fun. And... Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> this is just like, I don't want to die now. I'll think of what to say later. But I appreciate it, dude. It's like <laughs> nope. Oh, he's out. Okay, that's good. He's out. 
Um, now to left. Can we make sensors though? Noise makers. We can. We can make one. Wrong timeline. <laughs> oh, don't you know it? Don't you know it? Okay, cool. Why? Why do you just put it down? Why? Don't you have a throw? Is it just how? Oh my word! I'm pressing the wrong button the whole time. There's a throw button. <laughs> yes, a fart scared me earlier. Scary alien noises. Oh, we need to add some of those. Thanks, Nightwolf. I think he just. Oh my word! Imagine that. This game with alien noises. Oh me oh my! That sounds fun. There's a safe spot right in that corner, too. I'm bolting straight for it. I think it would just be like... I think, actually, that gloop that falls out from the ceiling is like the alien fart. That makes complete sense. Sounds right. Okay. We can go left and around. Good. So, Neon Fox, since you brought it up, what would an alien fart sound like? Try to type it out and I'll read it. How about that? How about that? I don't think they have cheeks for that. <laughs> I really don't think they do. Would be funny, though. <laughs> okay, I think we can just go. Yeah, we can go straight through. Oh, it's you. We're just like <laughs> Oh, that'll be funny. Okay. I can remember. Damn you, Coleman. You knew that thing was here. Now that's not fair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now the passcode. 1702, okay? Now let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. Bad smart stings and nostrils. Oh. Neon Fox, you just know it's made out of real bits of panther. So where do we go now? Oh, my, where am I supposed to go now? Wait. Return to Dr. Cool. Okay, fine. He's not scary. He's not sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's not. Kids are I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I agree. Okay, so what what do you need now? There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. Okay, where's the elevator? Oh, I just go straight. <laughs> I'm just pulling a nope. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> no! I can't press E. Um. <laughs> like, what is this? What is this craziness? Oh, now it works. Mm -hmm. Alien Antispus. <laughs> while, while he has his little chew toy. Okay. Find a trauma kit. Great. Not before I put my keycard in that slot and save. Sweet. Okay. 
Okay, health doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Quit. Ooh. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Sensors. We need so many sensors. Okay, we already have a noisemaker, but we can make another one. Just for in case. He doesn't want that chewy toy, though. He's got a definite hard on for Hipley. Ripley. Oh, yeah. He really does. Need to work on your throat. Oh, my word. Yeah, don't, don't remind me. So there's only one place to go, and it's a vent with an alien running around and muck. Oh, first... Oh, wait, no. You need to restore power. Okay, go back. Go back to the door with a flashing stick in it. Okay, flashing stick. <laughs> Thanks, Kid Zero. Oof. Who would have thought that that would have put the entire door out of commission? Can I do that later to lock a door? Let me guess. It's gonna be a resounding no, right? <laughs> Why do you lock me to that item? Okay, access terminal. It's a tickle stick! <gasps> Wait, so we can test if we can tickle him? Like a test tickle? Okay, that was a bad joke. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here, a part of Marshall's investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound. No idea how long Marshall waits will want to keep her up here, but this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm going to need your discretion and also need you to trust me on this one. Come and see me in my office. A talking stick. <laughs> Like like a peace pipe. Nothing of importance. Cooling system. Did 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 you? Okay, you did. Engage coolant. I can engage it. Oh, locked. Do I need to find another bottle of coolant? He is coming. <laughs> Cover your butt. Frost your tips. Um, yeah, Rick, if I do that, I'll get fired. But I've got a workaround. <laughs> so the one to the right should be open now, right? FBI, open up! <laughs> well tried, dear sir. Well tried. Ah, is a coolant for the other door. It'll be so douchey of him just to jump down now. Sorry, I actually said it. Heh <laughs> frost your- No! <laughs> no. Not frosted curlies, frosted tips. There's a difference. Ha <laughs> ha! Dangly parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Bleach between the nethers. Oh, yes. No one likes frozen berries. They always defrost them. This might be a bad idea. What's the workaround? It's called... We actually have... Um, a vent access. Oh, this is gonna suck. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Let me guess, he's back, right? find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. I need to save first. I'm not doing this without saving. Workaround is we have, um... Give me, listen to me saying hair fudge. Hair wax that actually is silver. That's the only reason why I can change my hair color every single day. Otherwise, I get into trouble. Wait, wait. You didn't get the thing? What thing? There was a thing? Oh, I don't know how to get a thing. Let's see if we got a thing. I'll I'll take a a thing. A thing. Thank you, Kid Zero. I would have missed it. Completely. Yeah, here is gold. Yesterday it was silver. It's quite fun what you can find in Asia. Now this thing is being a bit of a knob. I can't save. Neon's right. It looks frosted. Slightly frosted already. 
My hair's purple. Oh, awesome, dude. That's awesome. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, sadly, I can't permanently make mine purple either. Yeah, we got gold wax, gold soul. I got gold, silver, green, blue, and purple. Yeah, those are some of the colors we get. In the face, right? That's awesome, Kintaro. So is it just like pure purple or is it like different shades and different colors, man? Like even in school, man, I always love coloring my, coloring my hair. But now as a, as a person who is forced to work, you don't really have much of a choice at the end of the day. Oh yeah, Neon, I agree with you. I really want red. Seriously? just come out the back I think <laughs> yeah it just came out the back really <laughs> I didn't think it would look for me oh well that was funny okay let's see what can we make we have two noisemakers five flares seriously we should be kitted out for this oh no ways there's no way around it though Okay, I need to go around. Haha! -ha. No dumb GTA. Okay, I don't hear him anyway. He's probably just in this room now. No, he's not. Oh, that's good news. Collect bonding agent. We're full of bonding agents. No more glue for you. Oh, we're in his office. That's great. What do I need to find? Okay, seriously. Okay, cool. Nothing can go wrong when you're working on a computer and the aliens roaming around you. Message from Lingon on her return. I've prepped the patients in the trauma room for trauma ward for transportation as best as I can before wait locks the place down. I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure there's no stragglers. The dispensary is now empty. Everything San Cristobal has to offer in terms of the first aid and medicines with you. Or elsewhere on the station. I hope you'll bring back good news. Oh my word. This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to stay. I have been, I have been placed under duress with regards to my patient zero and ransom. Season's head of operations. He he made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God, God. that woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Oh man. Yo, Rick, he always wants to nibble on those giblets. He's like Tangy from Kung Pao. Always wagging and smiling. Okay, now there's no ways to save. I need to. Oh my word, operating theater. I need to get a map. So they. Okay, cool. So they died in a couple of. What is this on the floor? Scrap. Smack! Okay, start to finish. It takes about five hours if I go that route. Seriously? Whoa. That is quite a session. Sheesh. But nonetheless, amazing that you can do that. So the... They're not coming in, are they? Watch him be outside the door right now and kill me. I did not say a thing. That did not happen. <laughs> I'm a woman, so I have a bit more hair to get done. 
I agree with you, Kid Zero. I agree with you. Like, if I had to do that, I would look like a clown. Because you, because they can do different shades. It doesn't have to be... Yeah. I get you. I get you. But, like, for a guy, I can't, I can't see myself doing rainbow colors. <laughs> I don't know. Paulus, I don't know. It sucks. Okay, hold your breath. Breath longer. Don't die. Oh, bad kitty, go, go away. You can't exit that any slower, can you? Or softer? Me oh my, lady. Fuck! Seriously? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Now you just come straight for me! What is- what nonsense is that? <laughs> the alien can apparently not smell a mess in your pants. Um... <laughs> no. No. I need to go... Which way again? Left. Okay, remember, never go that way. Otherwise, it's a death trap. <gasps> Here's a map. Good. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Okay. Let's... <laughs> okay, we read all that. Let's do the report. Let's... Mrs. Lingard. Senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to... Okay. We can skip that one. Almost, but it's almost. <gasps> I wonder. I want to see something. Yeet! Don't you dare! Sorry, I just got really happy there. Okay. The staff galley. So I need to go all the... Me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? How? Just how? Oh, come on. You think they would have had something more advanced than the CRT monitor in spacecraft? <laughs> Oh man, guys, okay. I need to call it an evening here. He runs us. I know he runs fast, but I didn't think he would, like, go all the way around and know the path thing. I guess assuming that aliens aren't smart is a very bad idea. I think it's one of the worst mistakes I could have done. Okay, so my dear people, I do have to cut it a bit short here. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> I have to cut it a bit short here because... <laughs> okay, so I have to cut it short. It's my time to go to bed. Um, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Same time. 8 a.m. EST to 10 a.m. EST. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for the follows, guys. You're amazing, and I'll catch you then. Have a good evening. Goodbye, all.